And we cheated a little bit because it was actually looking for images slash land shallow topo and font slash Arial TTF. And this is actually just in the resources directory. There's no font slash. Um, I'm guessing there's some code in the ba OSG backend that handles that case. Um, but if for some reason that didn't work for you, what you can do is create a copy, fa copy phase that puts it in the correct location for you. So I'm going to again go down to targets, and I'm going to control click, and I'm going to say new build phase, and I'm going to pick new copy files build phase. And you can see I have a list of different locations that I can put it to. So resources is the one we want, but maybe we want a subpath called fonts. So I'll do that, and then let's new copy build phase, and we want one called images, I think. And I hope that was right. Let's check the build. Oh, it's capital I. Well, it's case insensitive file system, so well, I think I probably should change that. Um, so we added two new copy file build phases, so they're here. We can control, uh, command, uh, control click again, and we can actually rename these so they're more sensible. Um, so copy fonts, and copy images and let's change that capitalization so I just double click the thing bring up the inspector and let's change that and let's move the fonts to here and the image to there and let's delete these here um, just to make sure and <coughs> Okay, let's rebuild. Okay, so now you see in the application bundle it created a directory called fonts with the Arial and images with the uh, JPEG. So now let's run it. And there we go, still works. Okay, so now we're technically correct. Now we have the resources, but we don't have the plugins or the frameworks. The reason it's working is because it's leveraging our installed frameworks and our installed plugins for developers. But an end user shouldn't have to install those things. So you actually want those things in the application bundle as well. So let's start with the frameworks. So we'll go back to the target and let's add another copy phase. This time, instead of resources, let's pick the frameworks directory. And hey, OS 10, Apple already has one called frameworks. So gee, I wonder why. Um, so let's move this, rename it to uh, copy frameworks. And you can take a shortcut here. So these are all the frameworks I need for this project. Um, you don't need to include OpenGL or Carbon because those, those are system frameworks, and any OS 10 users is going to have those. So let's just drag that down there, and now it's going to copy all nine frameworks in there. So let's build, and I got too many windows open, so let me close these up so I can figure out what I'm doing. Okay, so build succeeded. Now let's um, go back to the products, reveal and finder. Let's show package contents. Let's go to contents, and hey, there's a new section called frameworks and all the OpenScene pro, uh, frameworks that we need, OpenScene graph frameworks we need are here. And then the resources are still there. And the executable will still be in there. So let's uh, close this up. Okay, and the last thing we need are the plugins. So let's add one more copy build phase. And hey, they have one for plugins too. So close that, and let's rename that. Plugins. Now for this project, we need two plugins. We need the free type loader that loads free type fonts, and we need the plugin that loads images. On OS 10, all the image loading goes through QuickTime. Um, on other platforms, it's going to go through libjpeg or libping or whatever. Um, but on OS 10, it's a lot easier just to go through QuickTime because QuickTime is a pre-installed component whereas libpng and libjpeg are not standard components on the platform. So anyway, um, we want to add files, existing files. 
And let's go back to where our plugins were. So we go library, application support, open scene graph, plugins. And we want to add the free type. And then let's see, we want to add the QT. So I'm going to hold down the is it command key. You know, uh, yeah, the Apple or command key. And that lets me uh, multiply select things disjointly. So I'm going to add those. And we still want to copy them in. And OK. So, oh, whoops. It actually went up here. That's not right. So I'll just drag them down there. And there we go. So let's build and go. Or let's build one more time. And let's uh, reveal in Finder, show the package content. Let's look in again. And hey, we got a plugins directory with two plugins in there. So <clears throat> now we should have a standalone application. Now, how do we test that? Well, the easiest way is to uninstall our frameworks and plugins. So let's see, let's check that while I'm here. Let's go back to library and yeah, library frameworks. And let's just delete up all the open scene graph frameworks. So no possibility that we still have it that are accidentally pulling our system install. So I just deleted those. And we also need to go to plugins. So library, application support, open scene graph, plugins, and we'll just delete that entirely. And okay, let's even delete the trash. Okay, so it's not there anymore, and the disk image is unmounted. And um, yeah, you can see Xcode now doesn't even have those files, so you can't rebuild it. So fortunately, we already built it, so let's reveal in Finder. And our application is still there from the last build. So let's double click it and hope this works. And here we go. We got the resources, we got the right fonts texture, and all the frameworks are in this bundle. So let's uh, put this, and um, hmm, I guess this is an old version of producer. Let's put that. <clears throat> and as I said, you should be able to drag and drop this anywhere. So let's move it out of this location. Let's throw it on our desktop, and let's see if we can run it again. And Yep, there we go. So all the resources are contained. Oh yeah, I just hit escape. Uh, um, all the resources are contained within this bundle. And uh, it's a little big. Um, one thing we didn't do was uh, build universal. Um, probably should have done that. Um, to build universal, go to Xcode, go to the top, select 10.4 um, universal, change that, build. Generally, you can do it for all configurations, or you might just do it for deployment. It's up to you. Um, but double click on architectures and click both of them. And next time you build, it'll be universal. Um, so that's pretty much building a distributable application that's completely self contained. Don't need an installer. You probably will need to package this up. You can put it in a zip or a tar. Um, DMGs are popular, and I think that's the Apple sanctioned way of doing stuff. Um, some people are able to make really nice, fancy DMGs that have background images and an alias to the applications folder. So you can actually just drag the app into a big folder next to it, which is a symbolic link to applications, and it goes to the right place. Um, very, very clever stuff. Um, but this is, the, this is the important part, bundling your application so it's completely self-contained. And then uninstalling is basically the process of trashing it. So the user doesn't have to hunt down for all the installed files. They basically delete that one thing, and everything goes. And so that's application bundling. Please use it.